Hi everyone, Mr. Wade here. I just wanted to go through a couple of examples for drawing the board diagrams. Um, I got emails from students asking for me to actually draw them out, so I wanted to do that really quick. Um, the periodic table that I'm going to use is the one that you can see on the screen there, and it's this one. That's what it looks like printed out. I linked that one on Google Classroom in the week two uh, topic folder. So the examples we're going to go over are helium, boron, silicon, and oxygen. So if you take a look at the periodic table and you look for helium, helium is element number two, which is right up here in the top right. And if you're looking at the periodic table, I'd make it right here. So helium is in group 18. And it's element number two. Okay, so normally the way we would do this is we would look at the group number and that would give us the number of valence electrons. Um, so you would just check the number at the top of the column and the one next to the A is the one we would use. So if this was like neon, argon, krypton, etc., we would know that it would have eight electrons on that outside ring. Um, however, uh, since helium is element number two, this is the only exception to the rule, which is why we're starting with this one. So to do this one, you would take the symbol for the element, you put that in the middle, and then you're going to draw a ring around it for every row. So this is in the first row, so it only has one ring. So you draw the ring. Then you would look at the number of electrons that it has. This is in group 8 or 18 and um, normally that would mean 8, but since it's the second element, it only has 2. So since it's element number 2, our picture for it is going to have two dots. Those can go anywhere on that circle. It doesn't really matter where. Um, the next topic that we use valence electrons where we put them matters, for, but for these, for now, it doesn't really matter. Um, next up is boron. Boron is right here. It's element number 5. And it is in group 13 or 3A. So I'm just going to put 3A here because 3 is the number that we care about from there. And it's also in period 2. So you start by drawing its symbol again. Since it's in period 2, it has two rings. Here's ring one, here's ring two. Um, the first ring can hold two, so it's going to have two. And it's element number five. Each of these dots is an electron, so that means we have three dots left because we've already used two of them. Those are electrons. And it's also in group 3A. That three in 3A tells us that this is going to have three electrons on the outside one. And then the way that you know you're done is if you count up all the electrons in your picture, you should have its atomic number. So we have one, two on the first ring, one, two, three on the outside ring. That's a total of five, and it's element number five. All right, next up, we have silicon. Silicon is element number 14. And if you check out its spot on the table here, it is in group 4A. And it is in period three. See it go across here? Period three. Bam, silicon. Okay, so since it's in period three, that means it's going to have three rings. And since it's in group 4A, that means its outside ring will have four dots. So start with silicon. Ring one, ring two, ring three. And as you can see, these aren't perfect, so your drawing doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, first ring can hold two. Reason why you can do that, by the way, is if you look at the first row of the periodic table, notice that there's two elements. So that first ring can hold two because there's two elements in the first row, which is where you get the first ring from. The second ring can hold eight, 
And you can tell that because the second row has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. So ring two is going to have eight. And I'm drawing these in pairs because later on for a different topic, we're going to draw them in pairs like this. And then in the third ring, it's in group four. So it has four dots on the outside. One, two, three, four. And now to check to see if we're done, you count up all the dots and make sure it matches its number. So that should be 14 because it's element number 14. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Matches. We're good. Last example I want to do is oxygen. Oxygen is number 8. And it is in group 6A. So group 6 and it is in period two. So, first step, draw the symbol. Oh, and then it's period two. That means two rings. So, ring one, ring two. Inside ring has two. And I'm going to just put the little X there to show it's oxygen because it gets kind of confusing with this one sometimes because it looks like a ring by itself. So the first ring here has two. And then on the outside ring, we should have six. And that's because it's in group six. So I'm going to put these like this here. As long as you have six on the outside ring, you should be good. And then to double check, last step there, we should have eight total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this process here, same for all the elements that you're going to see. If you have any other questions after this, feel free to let me know. And I hope this video was helpful.